The bullpen is the only mafia news station. Money, the Federal Reserve just gets the money printers spinning. The, the, the printers go, brr, 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 and the, the money spits out. And this inflates the currency. The, the, the currency loses its value. And this explains why, you know, you could pay, uh, you know, 10 cents for something 50, 60 years ago that now costs, you know, 5 to $10. And this is what inflation is. It's actually theft over time. And it's really just robbing future generations, not, not just uh, our wealth or, or, or today's, but future generations wealth is getting sucked away because there's a never ending black hole of debt because the entire economy is based on a black hole of debt. So when I see these policies coming forward from, oh, Biden, they're going to fix everything. You know, it was really only Trump was the uh, president that I can recall in, in many, many years, uh, maybe back to Reagan, that actually even mentioned the problems of the Federal Reserve and how the Federal Reserve itself was a problem that needed to be fixed because it wasn't based on any real money. It was just the, the word of the bankers and they can inflate and deflate that. And it's not a conspiracy. I mean, it's actually outlined in some of these famous geopolitical writers from the elite, like Carol Quigley, the first 200 pages of that book, really important book for the 20th century. He's outlining how they scam everybody through this fiat fr fractional reserve banking system. Wow. wow. That's, uh, that's incredible. That's incredible. Yeah. You know, I know, I thought I knew a lot about uh, uh, these scams and banking, but I mean, this sheds a whole new light for me and I'm sure my audience, how, what do you think? Oh yeah, absolutely. I remember Sammy, you were telling a story um, about how your mom freaked out when the bread went up or the eggs went up and you were like, Mm-hmm. Yeah, it did. Because you knew exactly what was going on. Of course, we were part of it. Right. Mike, well, what, who, what, what do you, you think? Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. Uh, you know, I, 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 the first thing that um, as soon as Jay started to talk, first thing that came to my mind was that the, um, you know, the tickets available to the millennials or whoever it is who's buying the tickets, uh, although they can't afford to have a home or to, uh, to, you know, to have, um, to, to have an apartment or, uh, maybe they're living with their kids. The first thing I thought of was that it's orchestrated by the government. I didn't even remember, didn't even know what he was going to say, but it would seem to me that that's exactly what the government wants. The government wants us to be dependent on them in every way possible. And, um, and, and this is just another little piece of that plan. And, um, and it's one of the things that people don't know about. I mean, I'm one of those people who don't know about it. Sam, I'm like you. I, I thought I knew a lot about this stuff, but I didn't know about this. But now it makes sense that this is just part of the overall plan of the government controlling our lives and taking our lives over almost. And, right. um, you know, being dependent on the government is is what happened in Soviet Russia, you know. And, right. um, and, and if that's where we're going, then we need to do something about it very quickly because that yeah. is not the way to live. Now, I, I've seen that coming, but I'd like to ask a question to Jay, is that I don't understand how do we stop it? How do we turn this around? What's, you know, I see it coming. I know sometimes, like, by being in the mob, we had scams. You, you almost could not turn it around. It just worked beautifully with unions and other things, and it was almost impossible for the public to turn it around, so I'm sure my audience, our audience, uh, they're unaware of this or maybe have the same question. How do we turn it around? How do we stop it? That's a great question because, you know, if you, th there's only been a few presidents and presidential candidates that have, like I said, that have actually mentioned this topic and discussed how it's at the root of a lot of our problems economically. Barry Goldwater talked about this and, uh, you know, he was made fun of and the media attacked him. Uh, Reagan mentioned this kind of stuff, and then we saw what happened to Reagan, <laughs> right? You, you get a, a bullet uh, if you go a little too far with some of these topics, in my view. Uh, Kennedy uh, himself, uh, I know that we've discussed different reasons and different elements. Um, one of the things that might have contributed to this, too, beyond the known stuff, was that Kennedy also talked about the problems of the issuing of currency. And so, in my view, what I, my understanding of it is that really what happened was that this this what we thought is the treasury department as a, a a government institution was actually handed over to private central banks a long time ago so it's kind of like an inner kind of uh, core group 
uh, structured perhaps in a way like the way, you know, organized crime would have been structured where a lot of people don't know who's kind of really calling the shots and people will go after people and, you know, you have patsies that get busted that are not really running things. So the difficulty here is, I think, identifying the real deep state, the real shadow government who, you know, we can look at things like CIA and the NSA and these kinds of things and the corrupt FBI people. But really, they're answering to, in my view, a higher power, which is a, a longer term goal of these elite yeah. wealthy people. Yeah, what, what so we got to we got to go out. We got to the first we got to identify who's really doing it uh, before we can solve those problems. And one of those problems would be to go back to uh, some kind of substantial hard money that can't just be inflated and deflated at will by a bunch of, uh, you know, central banking elites. You know, Sam, even if we were to determine, as as Jay just said, who is in charge, so to speak, that doesn't necessarily mean we can fix it. Us, you, me, you know, my family, your family. Um, it's got to have, there's got to be somebody who's sitting, I believe, in the White House who needs to look deeply into this and try to fix it. And with what you said before about the mob and scams, well, you know, we as voters can't go to the ballot box and vote out a John Gotti, so to speak, or, uh, you know, or a Lucky Luciano, whoever is in charge of, of a particular family. But we can go to the ballot box now and vote for people who will, you know, will, will follow what it is that we want them to follow. So that's how I believe you can do this. You do this with, with the vote. Uh, you know, it's a very, very powerful tool. The question is, how do you get the word out to enough people to get them to the ballot box to vote the way that you want? The media is not going to do it. The media, you know, the, yeah. at least the mainstream media is not going to do it. They're, they just play, you know, go along with the party line because they're controlled by elites, as we said before. So, um, so that that's the answer, but it's really not an answer because we've got to, you know, we've got to get somebody in the White House to do it. Well, uh, there, there there is an answer to it. I mean, I, I I agree that the answer is really hard because as soon as, like Jay, he makes a lot of sense when he talks. They'll if they hear this, they'll call him a conspiracy theorist and uh, they'll doubt. blow, blow him doubt. off. And people don't want to hear when they're being robbed or crime, so they'll agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's nuts. Or whatever so it makes it that much harder i talk to some of my friends on the phone locally and uh and they get it too and they say sammy what can we do i, I really don't know the answer is in the power of the people if the people could understand exactly what's happening to them if people like yourself mike jay and and me i'm not an educated guy but uh me included to talk to them and we're part of them. And I tell these people, you're the same as me. We're the people, we're all gonna get robbed. I don't give a shit if you're a Democrat or a Republican, you're gonna get robbed. I mean, they're not even hiding it anymore. It's so blatant, it's, you know, I talked to Patrick McDavid, Michael Francis, a whole bunch of people and, and, and they see it. But it's a small, tiny group that see it and we don't have the power in the numbers to to mean anything. So they don't really care what we say, you know, but see, like Trump, I believe, had the power. And look what happened to him. And this guy's getting indicted every 15 minutes. So to me, as a gangster, I look at it. They fear him. They want to shut him down. So they'll use any excuse under the sun to, to shut him down by getting him indicted. If he's convicted, then there's a law. He can't run for presidency. So he's done. So they're going to kill him, not with a gun, but with assassination, character assassination. And little by little, they keep bumping him off. And uh, and he's, you know, I, I don't know who's his equal. Um, I know, uh, what's his name from uh, Florida, Governor DeSantis. And there's a few people who are, seem pure. Even one of the Kennedys, I'm not too crazy about the Kennedys, but this guy here, uh, Kennedy Jr., seems to talk the right way. You know, whether they act the right way once they get in is one thing, but he seems to be pretty honest, talking the same way, uh, the right way. I think the world of Candace Owen, because I, I love the way she's honest when she talks, 
but uh, do they have the power to move this and move enough people? I don't know. If we had the power, um, if the mafia was in charge, these days it's not around anymore, but if it had a group and that had power enough to talk, Joe Colombo almost pulled something like that off um, with the Italian American League. He tried. Look what happened to him. He got bumped yep. off. Um, and it, you know, a black guy shot him acting as a reporter. And uh, people were saying it was the mob. Had nothing to do with the mob. Had nothing to do with the mob. And I knew a ton of people back then in that era, in that time. Um, and here's a guy who had a camera who was custom made with a gun inside of it. He had a press pass. We don't, Mafia don't have all that shit. We don't have that kind of capabilities. So he got bumped yeah. off because of that league. And uh, Kennedy, I believe the same thing. There's a whole bunch of reasons with him. But um, I really don't know the answer. And, and you know, when, when you have kids and grandchildren and stuff, like Jay is saying, it's down the road. It's the people who are going to inherit all of this. And yeah, if we don't right. stop it, that's what we're going to give our kids that present. Here you go, kids. We didn't stop it. We didn't do anything. Maybe it's not really your fault. Maybe you don't understand it. Uh, so I, I don't know the answers, but I'm glad we're able to talk about it openly. And I, whoever's listening to us, um, I hope they understand it. I hope that's how word spreads. Um, you know, that's a, this guy did that movie, Freedom. It's crazy. It's now earned over 125 million. And Hollywood is shook by this whole thing. Now you have Mel Gibson. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, I was working with him. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg joining in with him. You know th that those are good things. Those are people getting together who have voices and can bring people together. And I hope this would happen with all the politics and everything that's going on. 